We started using Letters Alive at the beginning of this year in August, and the effect that it's had for my kids uh, is exponential. It's for lions. Ooh, that's a lion. I can definitely attribute our kids learning of reading the beginning stages of reading to using this program. Um, Letters Alive has has really taken kids, I think, to a different level in learning those letters and, and words. And I'm certain yeah, even yeah. kids that are older could take it to a different level. But for us, I mean, we see kids remembering letters, using letters, yeah, using the sounds and the names and making connections like they never have before. X-ray fish. X-ray, yeah, it's an X-ray fish. Yeah. Ooh, look at all the X-ray fish. Hello, it's they're small, aren't they? They're not very big. Um, we actually had a parent express to one of our teachers that these are some of the first times okay. that they heard their child speak, which when they were using Letters Alive. And I mean, that, that says enough we're right there just to say that kids are making connections for the first time and kids are engaged. Hey, kids. Yeah. Jumping. Yeah. Oh, One of my favorite things is to see um, some of our special ed, uh, special ed, and our special needs kids come and participate with Letters Alive. Ready? Uh, they really, at, at many times, it's it may be hard to get their attention, but the most challenging part is really keeping their attention. I can keep their attention and the teachers can keep their attention much longer than we could if we were just showing them a letter, a flashcard. This isn't your A Apple type of program anymore. The bear comes out at you and the kids just are, are really crazy about it and they're saying the sounds. Okay, let's ask it. He says yes. He does say yes. Can the rooster swim? Can the rooster swim, Luke? It's the elephant. The elephant. What is he eating? He's a banana. We have a student who doesn't really use language at all, and the first time we put letters alive in, it was like magic. He was able to hold a lion, I think it was, in his hand, and. Uh, he actually said wow and for that for a student to not have the ability to say words and then finally be able to speak is amazing